are broken, but I'm, I'll be all right. Tasha meets her final four families and one relationship comes to a shocking end. Hey guys, welcome back to another shared news from home. We have got to break down these hometown dates, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I am joined by the wonderful Gabby Gonta and Avery Grooms. Hi guys. Hi Fiona. So due to the pandemic, hometowns were actually at the resort. Chris surprised the guys with the news that their families were on site and told them to basically plan a date that will show her the vibe of what it would be like to be with them at home with their families. And they all did such an amazing job. Brendan was up first, and we actually learned a little bit about how important his relationship with his brother is to him, which was so so sweet and he invited his niece not to make just like a brief appearance but to literally accompany them for their entire day date which i thought was so charming and sweet and moving uh he made it very clear that he's always wanted kids and it was really sweet to hear him talk about what an amazing aunt and even mother taisha would make in their future obviously you guys it was such a cute day they had so many little mini activities and Taisha, I think, no surprise to anyone here, absolutely killed it with his niece. What were your thoughts seeing them together, you know, with his family? What were your thoughts on the day portion of their date, Gabby? It was so cute. I think Taisha and the little niece, they got to have some girl time. And Taisha was even saying, Brendan's great, but like, it's so fun to hang out with you. And when you have a carnival day, of course, you're going to bring, you know, the little uh, niece along. So it was so adorable. I think we got to see a different side of Brendan. He was like busting out some dance moves. He was just feeling really comfortable around Tasha and just knowing that his family was there and that they were taking that, that next step. Yeah, they both seemed super comfortable and relaxed. And I thought it was so cute that he chose to include his niece. So we got to see how he is with her and just like, it's kind of symbolic, like if they were to have a kid to see how Tasha acts around his niece and how he is with the niece. It was just a cute little moment and I just think it went really well. It certainly did go really well. I think they were having an awesome first part of the day portion and we got to know a little bit more about Brendan's hometown because he said there's carnivals and things like that all the time. But then we transitioned into the night portion where we got to meet Brendan's brother, the one that he was talking so much about and the brother's wife and then the niece again was along for the ride. So when they all met Tasha, they were talking about their experiences on the show so far. They mentioned the lie detector test that had Brendan, you know, his nerves were certainly up and they were talking about how they were nervous to meet each other's family, but clearly they're doing a great job here because everything seemed so natural and they were really just getting to know all of each other. Brendan then gets some alone time with his brother finally, and he tells him that he doesn't want to fail at marriage a second time. So that's clearly something that is on Brendan's mind and his heart right now going into this. We know we've heard that he's been anxious about a proposal, so it makes sense that they had this conversation. And he also goes on to say that if he could have molded the bachelorette himself, it would have been Tasha exactly. So clearly he's loving every single part about her, and they are just really falling in love together. Brendan's brother then tells Tasha that he does think he's ready for marriage again. I think he says, you know, if you asked me a couple years ago, I would have said no, but he's really come a long way. And, you know, we know that Brendan's been through a divorce like Tasha as well. So they really bonded on that. But it sounds like Brendan is ready for marriage. So that's something that Tasha doesn't have to be worried about when she's considering, you know, pursuing the relationship with him. So what do you girls think? It went well. They all fell in love with each other. The family loved Tasha. She loved them. It seemed to go really well. And they didn't want to leave at the end of the day. So that's a, that's a good indication that everything went well. So what do you guys think? Did Brendan score some points with this hometown? Fiona, what do you think? Oh, I think he definitely did. I think that he, out of all of the guys, was able to just show kind of a brand new side of himself. We know he's sweet. We know he's charming. We know his, he's like funny. Um, but to see him with his niece, I think that that just like put him in a new light for Tasha. I mean, I think at the end, she like said in one of her interviews that she sees herself falling in love with him, which is just such a sweet thing. I feel like with Brendan, I 
I always get the feeling that he's like sneaking up on me. Like he's wonderful. He does such a great job. He's always charming. And every time we see something new with him, I'm like, oh, wow, he's such a great guy. So I, I hope he scored some points. From here on out, it's going to be so tough. They're all such great guys. Yeah, it was just very smooth sailing. I thought all the conversations went really well. Um, I think he is ready for marriage. Of course, I think the only thing holding him back is just the fact that there's other guys here. Um, but the brother seemed on board. Everyone seemed to love her. She seemed to love them. Um, I just thought it was overall a, gr a great date. And up next, we had Zach, who planned a day full of New York things. It was so cute. It was filled with cab rides, bagels, coffee, New York pizza, Central Park. Um, Tasha was very excited about the idea of living in New York with Zach because she thinks she would be very happy. And they ended it with a very cute moment where they got into the fountain and that's where they had their first night together and made a wish. So thought that was such a perfect way to wrap up the date. Um, but there's no denying their chemistry at all. I want to hear what you guys thought about this date and just the chemistry. I think it's undeniable. It certainly is. I think they're adventurers at heart and you can see that they're just so excited about life on this date. You know, Zach says, let's jump in the fountain. And Tasha says, okay, like, why not? And Zach loves that about her, just how fun spirited she is and willing to do whatever, just always down for everything. So I that's, think that's something where they really match up. In terms of the New York date, I think it's hilarious because New York probably couldn't be any more different than Palm Springs, but they seem <laughs> to bring that, you know, city life, hustle bustle vibe and all the iconic New York things to the resort. So I thought, great, great on the producer's part for really making that happen in a pandemic. But I think it was so cute. And I think they could see a life together in a big city like that because of this date. Oh, I totally agree. I think, I mean, their chemistry has like always been off the charts. Um, I mean, we'll talk about all of the dates. All of the dates were great. There's like no question. We've got a great group of guys. Brendan is so sweet, but with Zach, I think what stood out is just like how much fun they have. I feel like they laugh a lot together. They're always like egging each other on to do the next silly thing, like the next fun thing, like just take a risk, take a shot. Um, and I think that's really great to see. I think that, you know, the entire time you could just tell they were living for whatever thing they were doing, even if it was as silly as hailing a taxi made out of plywood. So I just, I love to see them <laughs> together. And I think that their chemistry really impressed his parents and his brother, which is something that like those people know you better than anyone else in the world. So that was really great to see as well. The brother was of course a little bit skeptical. I love a skeptical sibling because that's, I feel like my role as a viewer at home <laughs> this entire time because it does just move so fast. Um, the brother immediately hits her with the golden question of where are you with Zach compared to your other relationships? Question which of course she can't really answer. I mean, that sort of like blows up the magic of the show. Um, but she did a pretty good job navigating it. He did press her a little bit. And in his interview, he kind of, you know, expressed just from a brotherly level of concern, like he doesn't love the fact that she's in relationships with other guys. And he didn't love that she and Zach hadn't like really talked about that, um, which I am curious to get your takes on. Um, in addition to the brother, the dad was also kind of nervous about the other four guys. But more than anything, the entire family expressed how happy they were to see how happy Zach was. Um, and perhaps the biggest moment that made me just like go on and my jaw drop was when he told his mom that through this process, he realized he does want a family because that is such a beautiful sentiment. All in all, she was a hit with the family and the family was a hit with her. I want to know from you guys, do you share any of these like skeptical concerns about them not addressing like their relationship compared to the other relationships? kind of feel like that dims the magic. I think so. I think it's a fair concern for the families to have. I think it's so easy to get caught up, you know, when you're Zach and Tasha, just get caught up in every moment you get to spend together. And of course, 
the guys don't see what's going on on the other guys' dates with the other guys' connections. Us as viewers, we get to see everything and sort of really nitpick and compare everything side by side. But these guys aren't seeing how these, you know, other relationships are blossoming. So they're probably thinking, well, I had a great time with her today. So I'm a front runner. Like I've got this in the bag, but they don't know that she just had another amazing time with these, this other guy's family. So it's definitely a valid question for them to have and something that the guys don't normally think about because they want to focus on their relationship. I totally agree with you. Um, I would definitely ask that question if I was a sibling as well. I just don't think she can answer it directly just because it's a part of the show. Um, but she did say she was falling in love with Zach. And I think just by the family seeing this other side of Zach around her just kind of solidified that they are good together and that he is in love with her. And he didn't really even have to say it to them because they saw this better side of him when he was with Tasha. So I feel like that's the real answer in all this. Um, when you're the better version of yourself with someone else, that's kind of really telling, especially when your family's making note of that. So I just thought it was a very cute moment. Also with him and his mom, um, they got deep and he just said the sweetest things. I just thought it was so cute. Once again, another great, not hometown, but meeting the family date. It was another great day. I think it's so sweet. Each of these guys, they're, you know, wanting to meet Tasha and talk about all that and have a great experience. But they really were just so excited to see their family again after so many months. And they had some like deep emotional conversations with just, you know, father and son or son and mother and brother and brother. So it was great to see all of that unfold tonight as well. Next up for our third hometown date, we have Ivan. He planned the first half of the date and it was a cooking date together. So they were just in his house and they were and they get cooking a meal that he planned for them. He actually said that he's good friends with, you know, a world famous chef and it ended up being his little niece. And she sent in a video of, of her cooking and that was adorable. And then, of course, later in the episode, Ben is actually friends with a famous chef, but we'll get into that later. Um, Tisha absolutely loved this date idea with Ivan. She said all of their dates have just been so realistic. I think the first one was the movie night and now the cooking night. These are things that they would really be doing if they ended up together. So it's so telling and for her to be able to see how that would all go down. Ivan then tells her how his dad is his hero and that she's only the second girl he's ever brought home to the family. So that upped the stakes a little bit. She got a little nervous when he mentioned that. but. How do we think Ivan did on this first half of the date? I think he nailed it. I don't think he can do really much wrong. Um, I loved how he made it so homey just to make it very realistic. Um, like you said, this is something they would be doing if they were engaged at the end of this. Um, and it just, they seem so comfortable around each other. I think it's just the setting, um, their chemistry and just everything about it. It's great. Um, this is just so hard because I keep saying everyone's went so well, um, just in different ways. Um, and you could just tell they were getting so excited to meet the parents afterwards. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that to do something as simple yet thoughtful as just like cooking a recipe that like he makes with his family, I think it just shows like all of these guys are confident, but Ivan has like a different type of confidence. And I think that it stems from just like, he's going to be real, he's going to be himself. And he's not trying to like date Tasha and win a reality show. He's trying to show Tasha what their like love story could be. And every time he takes this approach, he really knocks it out of the park. And I think that just speaks to their chemistry. I mean, there is a chance that one of these other guys, like Brendan, Zach, they had such like extravagant setups. Could they have thrived in a setting as simple as cooking in the kitchen? I don't know. They're incredible too. But I really do think that there's something to be said about the ease at which Ivan can be impressive, if that makes sense. Like he does not need a flashy mm -hmm. setup. He does not need anything, but just his personality and who he is. And I don't know, you guys can probably tell I was very impressed with Ivan tonight. I was <laughs> totally in love with what he did. Yeah, totally in love with what he did. Very impressed with him. And then I was also super impressed with the family. 
Um, when it came to meeting the parents, they were both so excited. This was kind of a big deal for him because he's only brought one other girl be ho home before. Um, and now he has to do it on television with the second one. So pressure's <laughs> on. Um, his mom was so cute. She was a little bit of a skeptic, of course, just because the whole process is so fast. Um, she says, Ivan wants to make a difference in the world and he's an amazing guy. It was so sweet. Um, his dad was super relatable and very wise. Um, he told Tasha that he was also married before um, and they kind of bonded over getting married young. And the dad was very impressed with her. Ivan tells his mom he's not ready to propose just yet. He sees a path there and wants to meet her family. And the mom says she was still skeptical, but if Ivan is happy, she's happy and they will welcome Tasha. And Ivan was very confident when he was talking with his mom about just moving forward with Tasha and meeting her family. And I think he does have every right to be confident because just this went so well. The relationship seemed so stable. I think the only question is in his mind is just where she stands with the other guys. Um, so I want to see hear your guys' take. Um, were you impressed with the date? Are you happy for Tasha and Ivan? What was your overall take on this date? I was so impressed. I mean, listen, I think Tasha said something along the lines of like, that is a family I like felt welcomed by or I could see myself like fitting in with. And I think that that speaks volumes, even with the mom. I mean, listen, we didn't have any of those like, you're not qualified to be dating my son, like scary parent moments. I think they all like were pretty tame. But Ivan's mom was skeptical. She asked some of the hard questions. She put it right out there and was like, listen, I don't know about this. Um, and it didn't throw Ivan for a loop, which I think says something. And it also didn't throw Tasha for a loop. So for them to be able to be so confident throughout every stage of this process, I definitely think says a lot about where they are. I agree. I think at the end of the day, each of these parents and family and friends just want their guy to be happy, you know? So if they are truly falling in love with this girl, then, you know, they're going to support them all the way. I know Ivan was talking with his mom and she was saying, you know, are you ready for this? Can you propose? Do you really like this girl? And he was like, yes, I'm confident. Just trust me, mom, you know? And you could tell they had a great relationship because she was saying, I do trust you and I just want you to be happy. And of course she was saying, if she keeps you around. <laughs> um, so that was a fun mom and son moment. But <laughs> yeah, I think we got to see their dynamic and I think it's one that Tasha could certainly fit well into. Absolutely. And of course, I like don't even know how to talk about this next little bit because it was so freaking sweet. But his brother showed up, he surprised them. I mean, listen, he put it right out there. I think it was maybe a little shocking to him to see his dad enter the bubble with all of the, you know, health struggles his father has gone through and not see his brother be there as someone who's so close to him, you know, a little younger, probably a little easier to bounce back from the COVID of it all. Um, I think it unlocked a little confusion. And when his brother walked through that door, it was so sweet to see how excited Ivan got. But honestly, you guys, my eyes went straight to Tasha because she teared up too. And I think that that really speaks to how deeply she cares for Ivan. Um, I mean, he raved about his brother. He talked about how he's the most influential person in his life, how proud he is of his brother, how he's his best friend. Also how he views his niece as like, you know, his own daughter. They clearly have such an important bond. And they sat and talked about how easy and natural his relationship is with Tasha. And it also was really wonderful, I think, to see Tasha and him talking about loyalty and how Ivan is such a loyal person, how he really shows up. I mean, I feel like things went well with the parents and then like blasted through the ceiling, like blew my expectations out of the water when he had the conversation and she had the conversation with his brother. What did you think? I mean, I don't know that any one of these dates was the best, but these were definitely some special moments. Yeah, I mean, now that we're talking about it, I feel like this could be maybe like the best date just because it seemed like she was already a part of the family. Like there came a point where she just seemed that comfortable. I think it was like when she was talking with the brother, she just seemed 
very comfortable and just like she fit in already with the family and they had nothing but nice things to say about Ivan of course but it kind of just reassured what we already knew about him um he's a great genuine authentic guy and I don't know it just it seemed it felt right you know I don't know how to describe it but it was it was a great a great great first impression for her this brother surprise moment was so amazing i was like kind of expecting it and knew the producers were going to pull something crazy because they kept asking ivan it seemed like in his like one-on-one -on -one interviews like how important is your brother to you like do you wish he was here because he kept saying it and then you know out he walked through the door and then the emotions just explode so that was such an awesome moment like you said Tasha got you know involved in the emotion just as much as Ivan because she's heard the stories about his brother she knows how important he is to him and the fact that he's there and now she gets to meet him and it just seemed like you know the ribbon on top of the bow to just really complete this date and it was awesome to see like we've said Tasha looked so comfortable with these guys and and his mom and it's a family that she could really fit into. So like we've been saying, every single day has just been going so well, but I think especially with Ivan. We do have one last hometown day for the night and it was Ben. He said he's from Indiana, but he wanted to take a trip to Venice Beach instead where he currently <laughs> lives. Um, this was pretty relatable. My boyfriend's from Indiana and he can attest to the fact that there's truly nothing to do in Indiana. So it makes sense why he wanted to bring her a little taste of California instead. They ended up doing this fake Venice Beach setup where they did roller skating. They visited a juice bar. They went to some boardwalk shops and bought some apparel. And then there was, of course, a cartoon sketch of the couple. So very classic things you can find in Venice. On the date, Taisha admitted that she was smitten and taken with Ben. They certainly had such a fun date. And they talked about how she's meeting a close family friend and his sister. So those two are going to be the ones that we're meeting from Ben's circle. Of course, his parents couldn't be there. I think he said his dad was a doctor and it was just too much to get him there um, because of COVID and all of that. But Tisha asked him if his parents were there, would he say, would they say that he, they thought he was ready for marriage? And he says, yes, absolutely. So that was a reassuring moment ahead of meeting his friends and sister. Okay, so. Four out of four dates went super well. Ben and Tasha had an amazing daytime date. They really got to know Ben a little bit more, but she said there's still something to him that she's trying to draw out of him. And she ends up asking his sister about it later. But what did you guys think? How did Ben do during this first part of the day date uh, on this fake beach setup? You know, I thought Ben did really well. I thought they had a lot of fun. I thought that he was charming and handsome and you could totally see their connection. But I did feel like she sort of in her interviews continued to say the same things that we've been hearing her say this entire season, which is that she's smitten. She likes him. He's wonderful. But she feels like there's a mystery there or but she feels like she needs to know more. There's always like that little follow up. And I know she said sort of going into the evening portion that meeting his family would be crucial. So I did feel like as wonderful as the date went, he had sort of more to prove or more ground to make up heading into the evening portion. Because for some reason, she just still has these questions. So as well as I thought it went, I was a little nervous. Yep. Totally agree. The first part went awesome, but she was just left wanting more. And like you said, that's why meeting some of the family was going to be so crucial. Um, so we'll get into that right now. Um, ben <laughs> introduced Tasha as his girlfriend and Tasha and his sister chatted over concerns about Ben being guarded. And Madeline reassured her that he's not hiding anything and he wants to be vulnerable with the person that he loves. And then Ben chatted with his good friend, Antonia. He told her how happy Tasha makes him and she always knows the right thing to do or say. Ben says he's never felt this way about any other person. And their talk basically made him realize that he's in love with Tasha, and he just could not end up finding the words to tell her at the end of the day, which was crazy. But overall, the date was great. I think the most important moment was when he was having that conversation with Antonia 
And he told her that he's in love with Tasha, And she was basically telling him, you need to tell her, you need to tell her. And he kind of like got hyped up about it. And that's what I thought was going to happen next. Like, oh, here it comes. And, you know, I think there was a lot of anxiety. And I think we see him get in his head a lot and kind of overthink things. What were your guys' thoughts? Do you think he blew it by not saying anything? Because take that out of the equation. The date was great. It was just she wanted more. And at the end of the day, she couldn't give that to him, um, which is unfortunate. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of just more of what I felt before. Like, I think that he is a wonderful guy. I think that he also, like, made incredible, like, effort to open up. I mean, he talked about some things that took a lot of courage. And obviously, he really does care for Tasha and he really does want to be vulnerable. I do just think that this season is unique because there are so many guys who are so mature for so many different reasons. And when you're Tasha and you're looking at Brendan, who you basically saw like, literally in the flesh, what he would be like as a father, right? I mean, it was his niece, but like, it is so hard to see that, see Ivan, and then feel like maybe there's just a little bit of maturity lacking in Ben, or maybe just like some sort of wall that she can't break down. It's eventually going to take its toll. And I agree with you. I think the date went well. I think Ben is wonderful. I just think it started to become clear that perhaps at this stage of the game, he just couldn't check that final box. I don't know. I mean, I was rooting for him the whole time. It's really tough to tell like what maybe did him in. I really think he did blow it because like you were saying, Avery, he was so hyped and just talking with his friend Antonia, she was just saying, just say it like you say to all of us, say, I love you. Like, just let it roll off your tongue. Don't think, you know, don't overthink it. And that's exactly what he did was overthink it because it was just so hard to watch them sitting there on the bench after the date. And he was trying, he, like you could tell he was trying to get it out and just like have it come out in a natural way. And I think Tasha has been so patient with him this season. Like I am also like a shy like person and it takes me a lot longer. Like you have to really like drag big, you know, conversations or big like things out of me. And like eventually I'll get there, but you just have to like be patient and just like work with me. And so I feel like that is what Ben also has to deal with so I can relate to him. And I think Tasha has been so patient because she has been there. She's just been waiting for him to try to get the words together or she's been, you know, asking him, how do you feel? How was the date? And so I think she's, you know, given him all the puzzle pieces and like the recipe to make it happen and to set him up for success and he just can't get there. So that's just, you know, going to ruin him in the end as we saw. So as we've said, literally all of the dates, like by regular standards were successful. She had a lot of fun. She really liked all the families. The families all really liked her. Was there one date that sort of like stood out to you guys that, you know, seemed like she was the happiest during her like She was having the most fun. Like they were all really great. But did you guys have one that gave you like a gut feeling? Oh, he's definitely going to the finale. What about you, Gabby? I would have to say Ivan. I think he had, you know, the majority of his family there, the his mom and his dad and his brother, which is the surprise. So we really got to see the full dynamic. I think it's harder for Tasha when she doesn't get to meet their parents, like in Ben's case, because there's just another missing piece of something that they would have to do or another another key to figuring more out about them if she didn't meet their parents. So I think overall, I think Ivan's was the most well-rounded and that she could just see herself with them. I totally agree. I think it painted like the clearest picture for us um, just because of the vibes and the dad like getting so personable and saying how impressed he is with her. It was nothing but positive feedback, although the mom was also skeptic. She still loved Taisha. Um, and I think we just saw a lot of personal growth from Zach seeing his family, um, just the way he was explaining his situation to his mom. And just we've really seen him grow on the show. Um, so I think that was also a win for him. But definitely Ivan's. 
On that note, you guys, let's just dive into the rose ceremony because, of course, Ivan and Zach were so impressive. They both ended up being safe. Our final three, we've got Zach, Ivan, and Brendan, some front runners from day one. We, of course, did end up saying goodbye to Ben. It was not just like a rose ceremony goodbye, though. She took him outside, really wanted to have a conversation. She really opened up. She told him that she really cares about him. She just kind of feels like they aren't fully on that same page. Um, he did say that he was heartbroken, but he just kind of shut down, kept reiterating that he'll be all right. Uh, he, I think once again, sort of struggled to find the words, what to say. I feel like I could see the wheels turning in his head, trying to figure out if he should take this opportunity to tell her that he loves her, trying to figure out if he still felt that way, if it would make a difference. I don't know. It was just very clear that he was going through it. Um, and Tasha ended up progressively, I think, through this conversation, feeling really devastated. I don't think this is the way she thought it was going to go. I don't think this is the way she had hoped to end things. Um, it was interesting once he got into the limo, he like found the words kind of, he opened up a little bit more about how he was feeling, really talked about how he regretted not telling her. So I know we did sort of touch on this already, but had he told her, do you guys think he would have been one of our final three? Would that have made a difference? I think it really could have because I know Tasha said before their date that she just needed the reaffirmation from Ben that he was getting there, you know, that he was in touch with his emotions enough to be able to express that to her because he has been more shut down and with walls up this whole season. So I think she needed that and he didn't end up giving that to her. So even though it was so close and right there, you know, even after he wasn't chosen in the rose ceremony, they just sat on the bench again for a while and she was giving him the time to sort of express what he was feeling. And then she ended up being frustrated with him because like he had no emotion at all. He wasn't angry. He wasn't happy. He wasn't sad. He kind of wasn't anything. So I feel like after he realized that he wasn't chosen, he just fell back into his tendencies of, you know, avoiding all emotion and avoiding feeling any pain or hurt and sort of just putting up the walls immediately again, instead of taking that opportunity to explain to her how he felt. And just, it was just, it was hard to watch again. And I really felt for Ben in that moment. Um, I think it could have certainly been different if he just had a little bit more, more courage uh, to tell her how he felt um, in that moment. Yeah, like on their date, he was so happy with that whole entire experience, except for him not opening up. So I think when he didn't get the rose, he was just in so much shock and just choked. Um, but I think in that moment, Taisha was, I think she thought it was going to go differently. And I think she thought that would be the moment he actually would open up and then maybe this would all play out differently. But the more she gave, the more he shut down and he was just absolutely emotionless. And it just sucks because he got in the car and then once again explained how much he's in love with her. And it's like he's telling everyone this but Taisha. And I just feel like <laughs> if he was able to express that to her, I think he would still be there. I think he could potentially be on one knee, but unfortunately, it didn't go that way. Totally. It's like, on the one hand, we've heard from him. He sees her as his wife. He's right. You know, he loves her. He's never had these feelings before, but she hasn't heard any of that. And it's like been the same thing as we were saying earlier, all season long, she's been so patient and he really has given a lot, but it just feels like kind of, as she said, they didn't land on the same page at the same time. I think they've been on the same page, but never there at the same moment. So definitely Ben was a tough one to see go. We've of course loved him and rooted for him all season. We love all these guys. So my next question to you is, are we happy with our final three? I mean, I'm of course happy, but every goodbye has gotten harder and harder. But does this work for you? Do you see these as our three finalists? Um, I saw these as our four. It just in my mind, I haven't like accepted that Ben's gone just because I <laughs> thought he would be the one staying. And for some reason, I feel like he's not gone yet. Like, I just I don't know. It seems really weird to me. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I just I would switch him and Brendan, honestly. 
but no. he couldn't open up. So that's why <laughs> Brendan is there. <laughs> but I thought they had like the best chemistry, but I don't know. I have to disagree because I was very excited that she chose Brendan as her final pick of the three roses. Although going into it, I was just like you said, shocked because I was like, I truly have no idea who's going home. Usually there's a little bit of an inkling, you know, we can guess based on how dates went and things like that. But like, truly, I was confused about who she was going to send home. And poor Ben, they just couldn't get there. I think it was like you said, a miscommunication and things just didn't all line up in the end. I am happy with her final three. I think these are great guys and she could honestly end up with any one of them and probably have an amazing life ahead of her. Oh my gosh, I totally agree. It's going to be so tough. I can't even imagine saying goodbye to another one. I love Ben. I have to say I realized that I wanted Brendan more only when she called his name because I actually felt like the amount of time he got, like the amount of time of the date that they edited in, I should say, not the time that he got, if that makes sense. I got nervous. I felt like it was the quickest date, the shortest date. It was sweet, but there wasn't like a ton going on. So ultimately, we've got a bunch of great guys. Glad to see these final three. We'll have to see what happens next week. Honestly, you guys, next Tuesday is going to be so crazy. I cannot imagine Tasha's journey coming to an end. I don't know if I'm ready for it. I really liked her as Bachelorette. I feel like this has been such a special season. Of course, next week is going to be Fantasy Suites, which in and of itself is always such a wild ride. We are going to break down the latest teaser in another video. We always do this. We like to Break it all down, look for as many clues as we possibly can, and especially into the finale, we want to know what to expect. So if you're interested in going on that little detective hunt with us, make sure you click the link in our description. You can check out that video as well. To wrap this up, you guys, I want to know what are your like final predictions? What are we expecting to see go down in this finale? Gabby, what is your final prediction? The part I'm most excited about for next week is just when Tasha is going to be standing up there waiting to give out the final rose or seeing if she's going to be proposed to. I think that's the part that's just the most exciting. The Bachelorette's always look stunning. And then you find out who comes out of the limo first and then like what's going to happen? Is she going to break up with someone? So a lot is going to go down before that. Obviously, Fantasy Suites and meeting her family as well. I'm excited to meet her family. I think her family is going to fall in love with Ivan the most, but I really think she's going to end up with Zach in the end. That's my current prediction. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing her family and just the reactions to all the men and just getting answers. I just want the final answers. We've been talking about this for so long, how it possibly could end up, and we're finally going to get that answer. So... We talk about this in the promo um, video, so I won't get into it too much, but we see some more twists or conflict coming, and I would love to know what that is. Maybe there's more surprises coming. Um, maybe Ben shows back up. I don't know, but I'm hoping she ends up with Zach or Ivan. Well, as always, I totally agree with you guys. I do think we're going to see one little final hiccup with somebody and honestly, my like most realistic prediction is I just think Tasha is going to have a very tough job. I think this is going to be very emotional, very difficult. I'm so thankful that we will just be watching it all play out at home. It's going to be an incredible finale to say the least. You guys, we want to know your predictions for this finale. Let us know who you think Tasha's is going to end up with, who you want her to end up with, if they're two different people, down in the comments. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any Bachelorette videos. As always, I'm your host, Anna Zaring. I was joined by the incredible Gabby Gonta and Avery Grooms. Our socials are on the screen right now. Come say hi. We want to talk all things Bachelor Nation with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.